Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Christmas Day. Ryan's super excited. It's the shit show. And uh, we're, we're drunk. Here. We're drunk is what we are. We're not drunk yet. Not yet. We're on our way. We're just starting. We're still at the coffee phase, but I got a bit of the jitters from the coffee. <laughs> we're in our PJs. PJ coffee all day and we are wearing our PJs. Yep. I'm going to do the shameless promotion. Here. Okay. My mom made these. Your mom made she those? She did and they're quite beautiful. When? Uh, last year for Christmas, I believe. She's a sweetheart. She is. Thanks, Mom. What's your mom's name? Wilma. Wilma. My mother's name is Marnie. Marlene, actually. Oh, That's really? It is. I didn't know her as Marnie. I didn't know her yeah. name was Marlene. Marlene. She's Marlene. a sweet lady, too. She's a darling. Mm -hmm. Love you, Mom. Christmas brings out the best in everybody. Uh, I'll tell you what, Steve. Uh, I'm pretty excited about Christmas. I'm also pretty excited about New Year's, which is uh, just around the corner too. And uh, along with that time of year, um, I mean, you typically you reflect about things that have happened in the past. So I thought maybe for this episode, we could kind of go back and take a look at some of yours and my favorite times throughout the year and maybe show some of the folks who haven't seen those times, uh, you know, what we really enjoy most about this show and about you guys, the shitty people. Yeah, the shitty people. Uh, but we got presents. We got presents. We do. Which I'm super excited about. Oh my about. god. Steve and I both got each other presents. Uh, we had 24 hours to get each other something as we just decided this uh, yesterday and it is Christmas of course. So um, we're gonna do a uh, best out of one rock, paper, scissors to see who's gonna open up their presents first. Then we'll move on to the show and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. So Steve, are you ready? I am are you ready. ready to open presents. Don, Don, are you ready? Don's ready, I know he's ready. ready. I am. Okay, well, no, no, we got oh, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, yeah. Ready, best out of one, one, two, three. One, two, three. Ah! Yeah, yeah I got one, Every time. Every time it's the same one. So I thought you'd go right. It's unpredictable. I thought you would go. So yeah. you get to open up, or or you get the choice. I get the choice. Man, this is a tough choice. You know, I'm gonna let you open your gift for me. <sighs> okay. 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 It says uh, to Surge Entertainment uh, with love, Esteban. Spanish for Steve. Uh, let's see. Did you wrap this? Yes. Yeah. Or did Jessica? Ah, uh, hey. Yeah, Jessica wrapped it. Okay, let's see what it is, kids. Oh, snap, it's a cat hat! <laughs> boop, boop. Uh, And some socks that say size matters. Yes, it does, yes, kids. Do. Yes, it does. Oh my god. Uh, Steve, I'm really excited about this. I, I knew know. you would be. <laughs> like, super excited about it. I wish that I know. I can hear your heart pounding Woo. in here, Ryan. Woo! And this is why I love Christmas! It's the best. Uh, Steve, isn't it? If Dawn went to GTF off uh, your present there, right. you uh, can open up yours. See what we got here. Um, Mine's not anywhere near as glamorous, though. Okay. I am a little I'm almost scared serious. to open this. But uh, I'm going to open it. I'll move your drink here for a sec. It's a uh, it's box. Prime box. Uh, oh, upside down, uh, upside down. Oh my god, it's exactly what I wanted. Wait, show it off. You got me toilet paper. That's not it. There's more well, in there. It's exciting. It's really hard to come by right now. It's Christmas 2020. Yep, everybody needs toilet paper. Five of the best rolls you can get. It's, I think it's Charmin. I could be wrong. It's quadruple stuff. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Show the camera. Show um, the camera. This is so nice. He got me a framed photo of himself. I think I was 15 in that picture. Man, maybe 16. You maybe. Know, I'm just gonna add this to all the other framed pictures of 15 year olds I have in my house. But uh, you know, so thank you. And a uh, a Sega Game Gear. A Sega Game Gear. Portable video playing system. Few. Excellent. And a couple of games. Yeah. We got Sonic. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent choice. Mm -hmm. And what else do we have? Another Sonic game. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Sonic 2 and Sonic. And what's in the back of the Game Gear? Oh, Jesus. Tailspin. Tailspin. So good. Well, Ryan, thank you. Man, I, I, uh, I feel like we did pretty good. <sighs> <laughs> I don't know, Steve. Yeah. You know, I, was, I love it. I'm just gonna set it here, actually. Can you put it on Jessica's nightstand? Does she have a nightstand? You guys have um, certain nightstands? Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, it's like a shrine. Yeah. Am Wait. I dying? You, you people. You people. Oh, fuck you. That's you, you people. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the show. 
Welcome to the show. It's Christmas Day. We are super excited to be celebrating with you guys. Uh, uh, like we mentioned, it's our favorite time of the year because we get to reflect on all of the fun times that we had. Just because it is Christmas, and this happened most recently, do you remember when we were doing that show just outside the North Pole? There was something kind of risque that happened there. If you don't mind, I'd like to go back and show everybody what happened uh, while we were at the North Pole. If that's cool with you? Yeah, no. Let's check this out. This is one of my favorite memories from this year. Just happened recently. Watch this. Oh, Steve, love being at the North Pole. This Man. is, it's one of my favorite places to be. You know, it just, yeah. it always feels like Christmas, no matter what time of year it is. It's, it's, it's beautiful, you know? In the winter, it's minus 60 and dark all the time. Uh, and in the summer, it is sunny every day and just a cloud of bugs like you've never seen in your life. Can you imagine that, like, the 2 a.m. crowd always looks like the 2 a.m. crowd? <laughs> it's always dark there, you know? Well, it is, but in the summer, it's always light. Ooh, and then you gotta deal with the repercussions. You gotta of try to figure out how to sleep and stuff. Cool, 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 cool. Welcome to the North Pole. Welcome to the North Pole. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. They told us to only bring the essentials up here because it is a long way. It's yeah. pretty cold as well. It's it cost our sponsors quite a bit of money. A lot to of get money us to the North Pole. A lot but of money. Here it is. And, Look at uh, this. and here it's we so are. Beautiful. We're here. It's so beautiful. Steve, right. you were visiting Santa <laughs> earlier, weren't you? Uh, yeah. I was kind of a bad a bad boy. I uh I stole a list. <laughs> Stole a list? Yeah, it was from Santa. Was Santa's list? Yes. The naughty and nice list? I mean, list? what other list would it be in there? Oh my god, Steve! Fuck. You stole that. I'm so curious. Am I on the nice list or the naughty list? Um, I know I've well, been bad. Ryan, uh, we have it right here behind us, and so let's check out the nice list. The nice list! Oh my god. Huh? Look at that. Right at the very top, Steve, it's you! It is me! You! And then followed that by it's me! By Ryan. Second oh. coming surgery. Oh my gosh. And number three, Percy Percocets Gavronsky. That guy is always, he's so happy all the you time. You know what? There are not very many people that are nicer than Percy. I think that like he needs to be like more idolized. You know, I, like people need to like, they say they want to be like Jesus or they want to be like Buddha. People need to like, like Percy, yeah. Percyism should be a religion. No, I agree. Oh How my God, you just, we, we should start a new religion called Percyism. Percyism. Oh my god, tax-free church, like this business could make some money. Percy. It's tax-free. Tax-free. Cash. And, uh, Bootski. Bootski's on the list. Bootski is a good wow. cat. He's, he's one of the best cats out there. Uh, he's amazing. Every time that I've ever gone over to visit you, Steve, Bootski's been right there with his purrs, with his meows. He's always affectionate. It's like, it's like communicating with you. He's a cat that's like a dog. A cat that's like a yeah. dog. He just always wants to Bing, bing. Sorry. What about the naughty list? Uh, the naughty list. I'm glad it's not a on. spreadsheet these days. I know, I'm, yeah. I'm so glad that I'm not on the naughty list. I mean, I know. There is nothing worse than waking up Christmas morning to a fat lump of coal in your stocking, right? Am I right, Steve? Right. And who hasn't had You're that right. happen to them before? I know I have. Let's look at the naughty list. I haven't. Number one. Oh my God, the guest who are all Nicholas. Guests, Nicholas. Jake, Jake Funk. Funk. He was our one and only guest this year, and he is on the naughty list, no doubt. And surprisingly, we have not got a whole lot of requests for guests. Well, surprisingly, since. we haven't had a lot of requests for him to come back either. That's true. Mm -hmm. uh, next on the list, uh, local favorite. Uh, Brandon! Brandon Larkin hey. on the naughty list. It's, he's always naughty, isn't he? he? He's naughty. He's a naughty boy. Uh, number three. You know what? I've, I've personally felt the wrath of this dog. I know my son has as well. <laughs> on multiple occasions. Number three on the naughty list. Gage. Gage. Gage is a, sometimes he's a bad boy. Yeah, you know, you know um, we hide all the good dog toys when Gage comes over. He is Because he likes to, he does he, not He stop. tears them apart and tears the heart out of them. It's like when I'm eating a, a piece of steak and there's blood in it and I feel the blood mm. in my gums it on it. It drips my, down uh, the sides of your face. Mm, and yeah. just, he's raw like that. Just kidding, we love you Gage. Yeah, and number four, uh, <laughs> Justin Trudeau. Well. We know why you're on the naughty list. 
He really is a piece of work. He's done nothing good for us. No, so we got scandals, scandals, and scandals. He's also a dirty little bitch too. And then scandals. Yes. Is he Cuban or Canadian? Ooh. He's definitely but Cuban he's Canadian. A kid. Yeah. What's his name? The Cuban guy. Fidel Castro. Yeah. Is that the one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's his kid. They look yeah. identical. Yeah. Look. Oh my god. Is that not his son? They are the same. same. They're exactly the same. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, uh, well, that was a nice and naughty list that you stole from Santa. I can't believe you did that. Yeah, I know. I'm curious though, are we now going to be on the naughty list because we stole the nice and naughty list? Or were we on the naughty list and because we stole the nice naughty list, now we're on the nice list? Well, do you remember Robin Hood? Yes, yeah. No, he would steal from the rich, give to the poor. Right? Turns out Santa has, um, he's got a lot of shit. A, he's magic. Is it, is it him or the elves that are magic? I don't fucking know. Maybe he... I think the Santa is also magic, but mm. he's like the master of magic, and the elves are like the mini masters of magic. He uses his magic to make the elves do magic. Yes. <sighs> yeah, if you're magic, yeah. you can do anything. Literally, yeah, it's like, I want a billion dollars. All right, here's a billion dollars. No. I'm magic. Yeah, all right, magic. cool, cool, cool. Okay. How many elves can you hire with a fucking billion dollars? How many elves can you make with magic? You can just be like, elf, 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 elf. Oh elf, my elf, god, elf, you're right. Elf. Oh, oh. See, you know? So magic is the answer. Magic is key. Magic is the answer to Christmas. Aww. Aww. Welcome back to the show, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back again, guys. Oh, man. That was one of my favorite memories. Oh, my God. The Percy, he's got a problem. He's always too happy, right? Like, how? Yeah. How do you do that? Percy Drugs. Percy. Drugs. <laughs> That's how you do yeah. that. You can have that in there. Um, so, one of my favorite memories that we've ever had was uh, that time when we went to Hollywood. You know, it just brought in, you know, we were walking with the stars. Hollywood was fun. We were discussing movies in Hollywood. Movies. And then, uh, Famous movies. Right. Famous movie quotes it was. Famous movie that quotes. That was the one. You, if I remember, you were a bit of a bastard on that. Uh, oh, come on. I gave you ones that were super easy. The ones you gave me, like super difficult. Man, anybody could have got those. They're so simple. Let's see if these guys can figure it out. Check this out. Welcome to Hollywood. Oh. I just got my tan on. This has and been Splash Mountain. Amazing. I have been having so much fun. We went to Medieval Times. We ate there. We went to Disneyland. Mm, so much fun. Legoland. It has been an absolute blast. We are going to have some fun right now. This is a special segment that we like to do together. Steve and I like to test each other's movie knowledge. We will read out movie quotes and the other person has to guess which movie those quotes are from. Steve, I was kind of thinking that I would go first. Real easy one. I'm just going to put it out there. Say hello to my little friend. That's that. Scarface. Oh, yeah, it, it is. It is. Why don't you uh, feed me one, Steve? Um, no. Is that it? Yeah, guess. It's a fucking famous movie quote. No? Yeah. <sighs> Is it The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio? What? It was Die Hard. Die Hard! Ah, oh, ridiculous. I'm having a drink. Okay, me too. Little bush break. I got mine for you. Go ahead. I wish I knew how to quit you. Brokeback Mountain. <sighs> Speaking of Brokeback. Oh, man. Me and you. I got a broken back, you got a broken back. Yeah, that's totally where I was going with that. I got one for you now. I am your father. Oh, this one is super easy. I know this Go one. ahead. Star Wars. No. What do you mean, no? I couldn't have made it more easy. It's the Spanish documentary called I Am Your Father. Oh my god, Steve. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm... Okay. <laughs> yes. yes. Alright. I'm gonna give you uh, something that's a little bit more of a Christmas one. I'm a cotton-headed ninny muggins. Elf. Yeah, nailed it. I got one for you. I am Batman. Thank you for giving me an easy one, Batman. You're an idiot. It's Batman Returns. What? Go ahead. Give me a, your best shot. yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. Die hard. Yeah, you got that one. You are so bad at this game. Okay, I got one for you. Okay. Hey, kids, look. A deer. Hey, kid. Hey, kids, look. Come on, deer. It's a famous fucking movie. Hey, kids, look. A deer. Hey kids, look, a deer. Miracle on 34th Street. You are fucked. It's National Lampoons. 
So I'm zero for four, you're four for four. I feel like I'm just giving you nothing but easy targets here. Steve, yeah. last one. Good. The schnozberries taste like schnozberries. Super Troopers. No, it's not Super Troopers. It's Willy Wonka. <laughs> it's not, it's Super Troopers. You can clearly have misguided Wikipedia information. <laughs> Somebody edited. Did you edit that to make it Willy Wonka's, or was that something some other asshole did? Because you know anybody can edit. Okay, anybody can edit. Anybody. Yeah. Okay, last one for you. Okay. Wow. 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 Ah. Ah. Wow. Rachel Karen Green from Friends. Wow. No. Wow. No. What do you mean no? Yeah. Who else says wow? It's Rachel Karen Green, Jennifer Aniston. I'm not even okay. a Friends fan, and I know that. I'm gonna give you a hint. Zoolander. Ben Still. No. Hmm. Starts with an O and ends with an Ilson. O Wilson? O Wilson, yeah. Oh, Owen Wilson! <laughs> yes! Oh. That's all he ever says. Wow. Every movie wow. that he's ever been Good in. Good job, Ryan. Wow. Wait, wow. wait. And welcome back to the show. I'm Steve. I'm Ryan. And here we are with another little bit of time that we can uh, discuss. Uh, all the fun times, times that we have. <laughs> we had so many fun times this year. There was, yeah. uh, uh, like earlier in the year, we had a fun time. And then, like, a couple months later, another fun time. There was fun time in the summer. Fall came around. We also had fun. We really, all we do is have fun. <laughs> There's so much fun and so many fun times. That's what it's all about, having fun. If you wouldn't mind, Steve, I'd like to also uh, go back uh, to when we were in Vegas. Uh, we were, I think we were at the Luxor uh, Casino oh my just outside God. there. Wait, it was that the dog was show was on and we had Rambo as a guest yes. uh, for one of the dumb debates. Him and I, we got a little bit heated. We did not see eye to eye. I know. Uh, but uh, all in all, it was a great memory throughout the year. I would love to have him on again. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, check out Rambo and I when we were at the dog show at the Luxor in Las Vegas. Can you maybe tell me, Rambo, what your thoughts are on uh, dogs versus cats? Okay. Now, I myself, I'm a cat. I, I know, I know to you it seems ridiculous, but I like cats. I think they... Okay. You know what? If you don't let me speak right now, I'm telling you, this interview is going to be over. Okay. I see that... Uh, really, Bramble, I appreciate everything that you've said. We will take it into consideration when we discuss cats versus dogs. <laughs> Thanks very much, Rambo. Speaking of Satan, uh, you mean Santa. No, Satan. Do you remember that bag we did? The Facebook in a Glen? Yes. Oh! Yes. With oh, that was... group? <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Check it out. Sherwood. It's uh, the fine beer of choice. I always drink Sherwood whenever I'm drinking Sherwood. Yes. It's the best beer. And it's from Terrace. And it's... if you don't drink it, you're a piece of shit. So, yeah. welcome back to the show, guys. Welcome back to the show. And as you can see, we're out in the mountains. And... It's been beautiful, hasn't it, Steve? It has. The fresh air. Suits are a little strange I know. in the mountains. It's, it's, I, the it's... producers wanted us to wear this. They don't, wear they don't understand how weather and uh, <clears throat> things like elements work. Right. They yeah. just don't. So, Ryan, I wanted to tell you a little story. It's actually quite humorous. It's one of the funnier things in my life that has happened. So, I'm on this, uh, I'm, a, I'm an avid woodworker, mm -hmm. some might say, and uh, I follow this group on Facebook. Hashtag hardwood. Yes. The group is called Woodworking Enthusiasts. Okay. So, uh, a while back, back in August, I believe it was, they, um, there was one of the admins that left the group, and he left on some bad terms. Was he a dick or what? I don't know. I don't really know who it was. It's a it's a fairly worldwide group. So this group, the admin left, and when he left, he changed the name of the group to what? Well, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. Okay. Changed the name of the group, and the name of the group was stuck like that for 30 days. All right. Now I've changed my name on Facebook. At one point in time, I took on the like uh, your own personal name. Yes, my own personal name. Yeah. I took on the persona of a Latvian. He was a Red Bull Championship techno dancer. His name was Vaponius Patagonius. I realized. After Wait, Red Bull is. is into everything, aren't they? They are. They okay. totally are. Go ahead. Um, I realized that when I changed my name to Vaponius Patagonius on Facebook, I had to leave it that way for 30 days. Yeah. I didn't know that that was a thing. And I don't understand why it's a thing. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, but it is a thing. So when he left the group, he changed the name of the woodworking group to Satanic Enthusiasts. <laughs> 
Let's go from wood to satanic. <laughs> yes. And this group has got 80,000 members. Oh on my it. god. Like it's a fairly 80,000 satanic enthusiasts. Exactly. So off the hop, it was like, I was just scrolling through Facebook one day, minding my own business, and I, and I was like, oh, it's satanic enthusiasts. So I was like, I don't, I don't remember ever joining that group. <laughs> group that I'm a part of. Yeah. And it kind of stuck around. And you know, we lost some members. I completely <laughs> understand. There was some comments there, on there. There was quite a few. Um, I imagine there really was some Jehovah's. Well, I've actually got some that I can show you here. Uh, there's there's one there. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And then uh, and yeah, we can just scroll through a few of them, right? And so the funny thing about this group is that after the 30 days, and after about 20,000 people left the group, but we also gained about 20,000 people, so it kind of <laughs> stayed the same. So we had this really confusing thing going on. There was the people who loved Satan that joined the group, not knowing that it was a woodworking group. And then there was the, the people that were woodworkers that were there while the name changed and didn't know why. So in the end, there was half of you were satanic enthusiasts, half of you were wood enthusiasts. That's right. A small portion were were satanic wood enthusiasts. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. And so now, uh, it's it's funny, somebody will be like, oh, I made these coasters for my mother. Hail Satan. So then the name finally got changed back to Woodworking Enthusiasts. Yes, as it should be. And other people started joining the group that were into woodworking, mm. but had no idea about the whole the satanic, satanic part satanic thing, of yep. this. So there's people posting stuff, hail Satan this, hail Satan that, I made a... New members you know, coming in and posting, Yeah, uh, look at this carving I did out of wood, yeah. and then... Previous and, members yeah. are posting hail Satan. And in the comments are just like pictures of Satan. Satan, the loves Satan you. off South Park. The, you know, like just like and then there's also the the people who now leave messages like this. They're yeah. like, hey, just curious what's going on with the Satan thing. <laughs> and it has genuinely been like one of the funniest running jokes I've ever like been I've ever of. seen and been part of. And I'm 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 always quite amused by it. Facebook's amazing. <laughs> Facebook always astonishes me. You can find entertainment almost anywhere on mm -hmm. Facebook. Mm -hmm. Much like this show. That's right. Now, uh, just a quick question, sorry for interrupting, yeah, but uh, in this group, was there any sure wood? Um, no, but it's, it's pretty clever. Sure. I mean, uh, I'm a sure wood enthusiast, <laughs> would you? I sure would. <laughs> oh, my God, Steve. Oh, my God. Sure wood. Sure wood. I sure would. Yeah, how much wood could a sure wood wood with a wood sure wood wood wood? They actually just turned six years old recently. That, it, they share the same birthday as me, myself. Sure Ryan, wood, by the I, way, happy yes. belated birthday. Thank buddy. you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't be here for the, the massive party. You know what? It was There was only two people. I know. That's because it's uh, COVID that's, season and yeah. we're all not really allowed that's to That's actually because I've only got two friends. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to you, Steve. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. show. Ryan and Steve are not able to be here today. They have COVID, so they are isolating, and I am your new host, so suck it. Please be people. I'm out.